We're back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Nighttime. Please, one time for Richard Natto and the Nighttime Philharmonic. Who, by the way, during the break told me that they were so impressed by the Tsunami Wave Riders that the uh, boys are going to go out, get sp uh, spaghetti straps, spandex tops, and sarongs. So we're looking forward to that. <laughs> you know, you throw them out there and you just see if they stick. That's all I can do. You know what? But uh, coming to the show right now is a gentleman who uh, he is on the radio uh, every day from, I think, 12 o'clock uh, noon to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, he, uh, his station, uh, 101.9, play, plays alternative music. And we thought it'd be fun to come out here and put a face behind the voice. Please help me welcome Maleko. <laughs> mind I, I i went into your dressing room and i found a whole bar so i helped myself to a cocktail well if it was my bar then it's apple juice and no, <laughs> right. so you're gonna you're out you're in for a big disappointment yeah, yeah, yeah. but please oh, well. no make yourself no, comfortable thanks. and you know um the whole um disc jockey uh, but i guess that you're, you're now called what radio personalities yeah i guess personality uh dj yeah. That guy that's on the radio between the songs, you know, it's, yeah. there's no real title for us anymore. No, but just, I mean, DJ, know. a lot of people say DJ, but they don't know. It means disc jockey when people we used to put actual discs on. And, and yeah, back in the day, man, you know, when I, actually, when I first started in radio, mm -hmm. I learned on turntables. And then a week later, they put in a CD player. And then a, a week later, there was a computer. You know, it was, it was almost that quick by the time. And then uh, a week later, you were out of a job. Yeah, pretty much. That's next week. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but your your show is is wildly popular, and you're playing uh, alternative rock. Yeah, we do uh, alternative rock. Uh, basically, it's uh, we're the alternative to everything else on radio. You know, typically in Hawaii, uh, you know, you've got you've got a real strong Hawaiian following. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I grew up listening to hip hop out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, an alternative music is, is kind of everything else. You know, we got rock music. We got uh, we got. Well, for those who, who may not know, and, and by the way, I'm a fan of alternative uh, rock. Uh, explain in layperson's terms what that would be. Alternative rock. It would be uh, anything that requires a live band on stage. You know, with uh, <laughs> with electricity. We're all for that. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's it. it kind of works itself into in a bunch of different genres. I mean, we play, we have some artists that play somewhat like hip hop rock and mm -hmm. and uh, well, even, no, the know, reason, island rock. I hope you don't mind, but the reason I'm asking you to define it because anybody familiar with your show is already listening. I'm hoping maybe we can get some new listeners uh, there because I'm telling you what, we have uh, what would be called alternative rock bands on here. And it always disappoints me that so much attention is paid to, let's say, um, American Idol. You know, hey, who's, who's going to win? Who's going? If you want to support local, I mean, if you want to support music, go watch it live in small clubs. Oh, I tell people that all the time, man. You, you want to support music in Hawaii. People tell me, hey, how, how do I get this band here in concert? You know, mm -hmm. all you ever do is the other concerts. And I'm like, well, if you don't show up to those, <laughs> no one's ever going to have enough money to bring that band. Exactly. And so, you know, supporting live music in Hawaii, whether it's going to a concert at Pipeline Cafe mm -hmm. or uh, or going down to Anna Bananas to watch, exactly. you know, open mic night, whatever it is, you know, you just you gotta, you gotta get out it. there. You, you gotta, gotta go down there and do it. You know? how, how do people find out where these these bands are, though? That would well, be you know, that's something that that uh, when as soon as I started in this business, you know, 11 years ago, people have always come to me and say, "Hey, you know what's going on? What's going on tonight?" And uh, you know, with the dawn of web pages and everything, mm -hmm. I started posting it all on my website. And uh, one thing led to another. I, I uh, met up with a guy, Kevin Cotton, and he kind of helped me put this thing together. I, I put a website together called hnlnow.com. HNL now. Oh, I get it. Honolulu. You know, Honolulu, HNL. the airport code. Yeah, yeah. Now, where and when in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And you know, and everything that's hot in Honolulu is there. I put up uh, all the concerts that I hear about. I put up all the live club nights. Do you rate music? Do you do any of that kind of stuff? You know, I, I, I feature stuff. I put I put suggestions mm -hmm. as to if I was going out tonight, yeah. this is where I would go. Because that's one thing. You know, you can look at a newspaper or something, and you can see a hundred events going on. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do tonight? You yeah. know, and you ask your friends. And so well, it's not like, really you know. That. A lot of times, you know, you might be into a groove, but let's say you're a young guy and you're dating a woman, and you know she's into something else. And right. you're like, oh, great, I have to find, you know, reggae country western. 
Yeah, well, that's just it. You can find it there. In fact, it's like a search engine, is the, the way I made this exactly. thing. It's, you, you type in, oh, I need cool. reggae, country, western, and boom, it'll pop and up <laughs> if it's there. You know, and the cool thing is, is yeah. if you've got a cell phone, yeah. you can put it on your phone. So you can be like in the bathroom while she's at dinner, and she says, I want to go to a jazz night. You go to hnlnow.com on your phone, and it'll tell you where all the jazz clubs are. Uh-oh, watch you know? out. So it's like, I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll be your wingman <laughs> at a nightclub. There you, know, you go, hnlnow.com. Yeah. Yeah. Com. A lot of fun. Great idea. Cool. Man. Well, I'll tell you what, Maleko, how nice to see the voice. It's great Be to see I mean, the you, face man. behind the voice. 12 to 6, every day, 101.9. Right Thanks hey. right right Don't go away now. Okay. We'll be right back with Marley Sai and Nohimani Cipriano talk about their new Holly Cohen show, The Nighttime Return. And they put them on your website. Yeah? Better hearing is better living. Come to Island Audiology for a free hearing aid demonstration. Dr. Robin Whelans will personally take care of you. As a doctor of audiology, Dr. Whelans' expertise really makes the difference. Testing, counseling, and offering the best hearing device for your budget and needs. Learn more about Bluetooth hearing aids and rechargeable batteries. Enjoy each moment with friends and family. Call today for an appointment. Better hearing is better living. Who flies much-needed blood for the blood bank of Hawaii? We do! Who transports endangered animals so they can thrive again? We do! Who walks and runs hundreds of miles each year for charity? We do! We're Aloha, and it's more than just our name. It's our mission. and I are uh, toasting um, a new show that uh, a couple gals are going to come out here and talk about. In fact, they might, uh, this show might be good for your little website there. Uh, was it? HNLnow.com. That's the one. Easy to remember. Please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to talk about their new show at the Holly Koa, Marlene Sai and Lohilani Cipriano. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there you go. When the music stops, you have to pick a chair. Okay. That's how it works. <laughs> Nobody with a chair, when the music stops, has to leave the show. Oh, we're all okay. I like that game. I'll tell you what, uh, Holly Koa, what a beautiful room and new show coming out? Well, actually, we've been uh, starting the show. We started it uh, January 23rd. Oh. We've been doing it already on a rotation. Well, Marlene well, and myself. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and tell me about the show. I'm, I'm okay, uh, well... It's, it's an idea that the Halakoa has, Halakoa Hotel, sure. and there, it's, it's on a trial basis, if you will. So we have a few more shows to do, and we'd like to tell the general public about it. Yeah. I have certain, and it's only Wednesday nights. Wednesday, only Wednesday okay. Wednesday's okay. So yeah. I have certain... Taking this all down, Maleko? I'm writing notes. Okay. okay. <laughs> and we'll get the information to you, Maleko, too. And, uh, and so does Nohe. Nohe has her own show. And I have my own show. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that's interesting. You're not yeah. both in the same show. No. You're rotating one, yes. one night? Yes. I love it when you said, you know, um, it's on a trial basis because isn't our career from yes. the beginning yes. Yes. on a trial basis? That's true. Entertainers yeah. are always like that's, that, huh? Tell, tell me about the general public coming into the Holly Cole Hotel, which is essentially run by the military, am I correct? Correct. 